Are you missing that key player on your team and don't have the coins to afford them? Go to Buy Mark Coins for instant delivery on Ultimate Team Coins. Use code SAVAGE for 10% off at checkout. Guys, what is going on? It is Savage here, and I'm coming at you with another salary cap draft. Now, you guys seem to love this idea, and if you're new around here or you just didn't watch this video, pretty much what I did is I took the game mode of draft champions, I took the game mode of salary cap, and I combined them into one. I made a little score sheet that that's going to pop up when the draft starts, and pretty much each program is worth a different amount of cap. I have 100 cap to spend. If I draft a gold card, it only costs 5 cap, but if I draft an ultimate legend, it costs 12, and then and in between, of course, you have like your team of the week elites versus football outsider elites, team heroes and stuff. They all have different cap values. And my goal is to draft the best team without going over 100 cap. If I go over 100 cap, I got to cut some of the players that I drafted to get back under. See what we could do. Let's see how good of a draft we can get. Hopefully I budget smartly. Top into this one, boys. Let's draft it. All right, guys. First round and ooh. So we have Blitz Brady and Blitz Program players are actually worth 10. I have the score sheet on the side over here. So if you see my eyes over there, a legend under 92 and under is 10 and team of the week heroes are 10. I'm going to, I'm going to actually go since they're all worth 10. I'm going to go with Steve McNair. Right I actually, I like Steve McNair and draft champions and right here now, we have three legends, 93 and higher. They are all 11 cap value. So I already spent 10 in the first round. Uh, since they're all worth the same, I'm gonna take Sam Shields. He's a limited edition. I'm willing. To, I'm willing to. I'm willing to take that hit right there. Now we got a football outsider, a team hero, and a competitive badge slash badge monster player. So badge monsters are nine. We have hit uh, Vance McDonald would be seven or or seven for the team of the week. Okay, so what do we want to go here? Do we want to take seven on a tight end? Or do we want to maybe budget the tight end position? You know what? I'm going to take Marquise Lee. I'm going to spend seven on a football outsider elite. Now we have a football outsider hero. That's 10. A flashback's worth eight. So we actually just kind of lucked out right there. Being's flashbacks are kind of, you know, iffy and stuff. That's why they have eight cap value. And now right here, we could actually budget our second corner. Bad Mosey right there. That's only a five cap hit. So I'm really taking that. And guys, in the top right corner, as I'm saying these numbers, the top right corner keeps changing. That is how much cap I've spent so far. Now we have a team of the week. We have an award winner and we have a team hero. So this team hero is seven cap because he's an 87 overall. And this is a seven cap. So I'm actually, I need a middle linebacker. I like to get middle linebackers. One might of free safety right now either. And right here we get a seasons veteran. So let me go look. That's an eight hit, a seven hit, or a set two sevens and an eight. I'm actually gonna take the seven hit on the D tackle. I really like that. And that Jarrett guy is pretty dang good, actually. And right here we get a team of the week here. I gotta take him. Free safety. I don't care. You can have my cap. If I gotta cut some players, I gotta cut some players. It's no problem to me. And you know what else? You know what else? We have Mo's beard right here. We have an award winner's Danny Woodhead and award winners that are 89 and below or a seven. I'm going to take a seven hit on an 89 or below award hit winner, especially at the running back position. Wide receiver number two. Let's budget it. Five hit. I'll take it, bro. Sammy Watkins is a monster. Sammy Watkins is a freaking, like, he's awesome. Brandon Lindler, you know what? Seven for an offensive lineman. Just kidding. No, no lineman. I'll take that. I don't know how much cap we have left. Like I said, I added up after my draft, and then I put it in the top right. But here we go. Let's see what we got here. We could take a seven hit there. We already have a tight end. Or do I want to take a seven hit on a second O-lineman? You know what? Let's get two O-linemen. Let's get two O-linemen. Make sure that our offensive line is pretty good. It's right here. We have a team of the year, a Thanksgiving Luke Keekly. But guess what? I'm taking I'm taking the 10 hit Deshaun Jackson. I don't care. I love that card so much. Deshaun Jackson is the GOAT. We could go D-tackle right here for an 8 hit on a flashback. Let's get two D-tackles right here. Maybe we get a linebacker in the final round. We do. I'm going to take it and play one of them out of position. Got to go add up the cap. Whatever you guys see in the top right corner is the accurate cap. But now I'm going to go add it up for myself. See if we're over. See if we got to cut anybody. Let's see how good the team is after we analyze how much cap I spent. All right, guys, so our cap was 115, so we're 15 over. So in order to clear up this cap space right here, I'm going to take out our boy Ben Watson to free up eight cap. So now we are at 107 freaking cap. 
which I mean, that's still seven over. So we're actually going to just completely, we got to remove Ben Watson completely out of the lineup just so that we 100% have that cap room. So now he is out of the lineup. And we got to get rid of Marquise Lee as well. He has to come out. We're going to actually put in Corey Coleman right here. Um, and yeah, man. So we we had to get rid of two key offensive players right there. Take a one whole elite receiver and a 91 tight end out of the lineup. We, we dropped our overall down. We're down two picks this, this draft right now. So hopefully, hopefully we could still get this W without one receiver and a tight end. Let's go. As I'm telling you, man, I'm liking these ideas. I like the idea of the salary cap drafts, baby. First play of the game, pick with Sam Shields. Let me know how you guys are liking this. You guys seem to like the first one, man. Like I said, if you didn't watch the first one, go watch the first one. Um, That's like pretty much where I really go in depth with everything and stuff. But in this one, you know, you guys saw the draft. You guys see the salary cap. And pretty much that's what I like about it. You got to kind of think. You got to kind of keep like a mental tab. I honestly didn't think I went 15 over in this draft though so it kind of threw me off when i sold 115 i was like damn i'm really gonna have to get rid of like a flashback and an elite tier like i knew i was getting rid of two elite players which sucked but i mean it's it's whatever honestly because right here we're already in the red zone we're already in the red zone already in the red zone come on jermaine gresham jermaine gresham right there trying to get him into the end zone right there unfortunately we were unable to get him in the end zone maybe on this play right here he shoots out of the backfield quick enough okay not out of the backfield not out of the backfield okay throw that away oh, what did you just see that i threw it off the back of the freaking field goal post i really just want this to be something that like we could all do as a community and stuff is right here i'm just gonna walk into the end zone and i'm gonna try to get my youtuber buddies to hop on board and do one of these with me because i think it'd be super fun get in 10 man let's see let's see what he's got for us Let's see what he's got. Another pick. Let's go, man. What are you doing? Don't quit, young Quan54. Don't quit. Don't quit. Please. Ah, we got to go find another opponent. First and 10, man. Second game with the salary cap goons. Let's go, Corey Coleman. Across that middle, this guy's got Sean freaking Taylor. This guy, I'm pretty sure he had Tom Brady, too. So, I mean, man, if he, if he was drafting the team with salary cap drafts, he would have an expensive budget. He would really need a big budget for this one. He would not be able to get both of them on the squad if he was using the 100 budget that we gave ourselves. But honestly, it makes draft champions that much more fun, that much more strategic. Because it's already strategic enough to draft the positions that you think you want. But then to go back and think, oh my gosh, I only have a certain amount of money or a certain amount of cap space to spend. And then you don't get the players you want. What just happened? I, I, I don't know what occurred right there but it made me really mad inside but that's okay man because i invented a new game mode i invented the future i did i i i mean i think it's pretty i think it'd be pretty cool if we could get people to do this but yeah like i said if you want me to do this with some of my youtuber friends let me know down below and i freaking will harass them until one of them do it oh, oh like k and rbt definitely go try to get some of this up with them because this is just something different and and it just makes the game a lot more fun in my opinion i just think just just if if ea would have just put team play in the game this year do you know how much more fun that would be because when you think about it there's like no way you can ever like play with your friends unless you want to verse them and to be honest like it gets kind of boring just to play your like your friends over and over again because like sometimes you might want to team up with them after you flood them 632 times you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying that's a touchdown no alan hearns but yeah, this is fun. This is fun. All right, man, there is Brady. There is Adam Thielen. Thielen the goat. The goat Thielen. Oh, and we're popping him across that middle. Let's go. And he's hurrying up. Oh, this is not, this is just not okay. This is, this is a problem. Oh, no. Oh, no, please. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, if he wants to run head back wheel again, I got him. I got his number if he wants to run head back wheel again. If he doesn't run head back wheel, I'm going to be nervous. Okay, oh, get him. No, 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 you're not going anywhere, freaking Bilal, pal. Dude, get out of here, bro. You play for the Jets, dude. That's an L. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm, nah, I'm not kidding. Wait, we were offsides? Bro, I thought they patched that. I thought that they, they, they said that they patched the uh, offside glitch, where if you hurry up the offense, you can line up offside. Second and ten right here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. Pick it. No way. Let's go, dude. Sam Shields has three picks. We might have to pick him up for the damn Savage Squad. Oh, O-Lion, just hold up, because he keeps coming out in these little Tampa 2s. Oh, this is a cover 3. That's a cover 3. Let's go. 
this game is just so beyond me, man. It's so beyond me anymore. Like, that. that is why I decided to do something to make the game more fun, man. Because, wow. Wow. Like, that... That's not a thing. That's that's just not that's not supposed to happen in this game. This is a video game, not this is a video game and it makes me sad. I mean, we got the ball back right there, but but how <laughs> how the hell he drop it at real life, man? Wide open, dude. That is Corey Coleman. I actually kind of like Corey Coleman on the Browns. I'm not even going to lie. Him and TP, you know, even though the the Browns are probably the worst organization in the league, they did put in numbers in that poor organization. But I get it. Like, he might not be the greatest receiver in the world. Bro, why don't... I'm going to try the same thing. Oh, wait. That was a force. Nah, nah, that was a bad read. See, now, look. I'm trying to prove theories. Why do you hit the turf like that? I'm trying to prove theories out here just to show, like... Like, this game is, is not in any which way, shape, or form at the complete level. But, damn, man. That just made me... That just... That really just threw me off. That made me really mad right there. And we got it right back, though. That's... What is happening? I don't, I, I don't even know anymore, man. It just, it, it really makes me laugh, man. It really does just make me laugh. Oh, is that going to be another pick? Bro, we're just trading. We're literally just trading interceptions right now. What is going on? It's just, it's beyond me sometimes with like how like all of a sudden things start to just, you know, magically not work. And then all of a sudden they magically begin to work. And it's just like, how come five minutes ago where I tried it didn't work, but then he tried it work. I don't know, man. It's just, it makes me think. It really does. It really does. I'm going to test him. Danny Woodhead. Like, look at that. That's not real. Like, how the hell is Danny Woodhead doing it to Sean Taylor? Like, what? Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready for your verticals. I'm ready for your verticals or your play action something. Man, he's doing a lot of audibles. What is this play? Okay, there is that. There's this. There's this. There's that. Okay, we're over here. Tahir Whitehead. It's like when you first, when you really think about it, I'm over here trying as hard as I can to not complain. But when in reality, this this right here, sixty dollars. This is sixty dollars. At the end of the year, is that disc really worth sixty dollars? Nah, it's, it's probably worth a couple hundred because you spend a lot on packs and stuff. And it's like for what though? Because the game is broke, and it bothers me so much, so much. That the only feature in this game that's never broken is browse the store. Now you're dropping wide open possession catches, rack catch. Like, dude, it don't make sense. Like, what the hell's the point of putting that in the game then? Like, you know, that's that's what I'm just trying to get at. What is the point of putting all that stuff in the game if it if in reality it really just does not matter? Like, it, it doesn't matter if I click to X or Square, cause it's all a freaking dice roll in the end of the day. It it bot it just infuriates me. And then there's people that try to stick up for that crap. And they're like, no, nah, man, it happens in real life. Like, I get it. Cool. Yeah, they tried to make it like, oh, yeah, I guess people drop stuff in real life. But, dog, this is a video game. I don't want it to be real life. If I wanted it to be real life, i watch real football. But I'm playing a damn game. Reward me for making good reads. It's just, I don't know, man. That's why I'm out here doing this. I'm I'm playing Drake Champions, not playing Ultimate Team. I'm playing Drake Champions. I'm playing a game mode that I, that I made up because I was like, I want to have fun again. And then it's like, at the end of the day, though, I really got to rely on if EA wants me to have fun or not. Because I don't know if I throw a ball here, is he really going to catch it? Or is the zone actually going to work this time? Or is he going to maybe tip it up into the air 500 feet? Wait, did y'all just see that? My man was defending the air. There was nobody in front of him and he was playing patty cake with Casper the Friendly Ghost, dog! He was just playing patty cake the Friendly Ghost. Did you guys see that? Please tell me you guys saw that. One more touchdown for good measure should end the game. And Jermaine Gresham, touchdown, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, so he just quit. Thank God, because this was getting crazy and out of hand. But if you enjoyed, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more salary cap drafts, let me know down below in the comment section. Subscribe if you're new, guys. Tell me other people I should do this with. Leave a like. Have a great night.